Okay, I think we're live. Uh, here we go. So, welcome. Oop, oop. Come on then, if you're going to come in. So, I have the kittens are about tonight, so they might interfere with... Uh, with the class but they've been asleep so my fingers crossed that they're going to stay asleep for a little bit but Nico here is uh, fascinated by the lights and things so you never know <coughs> so anyway how are we all doing feeling fresh okay it's locked down I know it's not really fresh so I was thinking to myself when, when they get in lockdown, it's like all of the normal things that you do to sort of, that would relieve or even gain energy for yourself. You kind of stop doing. Come on then. Come on, say hello. Come on. This is Miko. This is Miko. Say hello. This is Miko. Say hi, Miko. Hi, Miko. Hi, Miko. Who's that? Yes, this is what I have to contend with, these little monsters. So yeah, so basically when you're sat around and, and doing nothing, the shoulders kind of get, they don't get the movement, so all the whole heart area and all of this sort of area just doesn't get that fluid movement of energy. So what we're going to do, it's, it's Quite simple what we're going to do, we're just going to open up all of them areas and put some nice twists and things like that. Like we've done through the last few classes, the most important thing you'll do during your practice, and you'll notice a common theme here each week, is your breath. So you'll notice if you go back and watch the other vid all the other sort of videos that we did, the common denominator that is always being mentioned to all the class all the time is the breath. So when we're doing some of these movements, they're going to be controlled and with the breath and, and as you release and it allows you to open up. So as you're going through your practice, sort of remember your breath and, and keeping that attachment to your breath. But at the same time, as much as you're connected with the breath, try and disassociate yourself with what is happening around you. You know, they say... Um, you know, yoga is to sit in a quiet place and have this calm mind. And it's not really. Yoga is to be in a place that's chaotic and everything's sort of going around and still having the calm mind in that place. So it's always about that internal experience. That is actually what the yoga is. It's that internal experience of what is happening to you now. You know, it's that in the inhalation lifts you and the exhalation allows you to relax. You know, just give me one second. Okay, open the door. There you go. These kittens run the show, I'm telling you. So, we're going to start nice and gentle. Feet are hip distance apart. And your knees are just kind of soft. And then we just want to start to just swing the arms around. And this, what this does is, it's basically we're just, if you activate the spine, the spine is where all the information has to come down that cord and then get spread out around the body. So the back hand, you want to just hit yourself in the small of the back, and the front hand, just let it hit you around the side of the tummy here. And you just come around and we're just doing that. So the, the hand hitting you on the side, obviously, is stimulating uh, the law the internal organs and the hand in the back in qigong this is what they call the gateway to god so we experience all our aches and pains down in this lower back so we're just stimulating that so the back hand as we move on through this is it always going to just stay hitting you in that lower back and the hips are forward it's just a rotation in the spine really but you might already start to feel like, you know, a tingling sensation in the fingertips. That's already energy starting to move around. I know when I've been sat around for ages and then I get up and try and do something, I just seem to spend the next 10 minutes just yawning away. 
So just take nice big deep breaths, nice long exhalations. Okay, so the back hand stays where it is. The front hand is going to come up and onto the shoulder. So remember that back hand into the lower back and then just up and onto the chest. So stimulating the heart, the lungs. Okay, so the back hand again stays in the small of the back. The front hand is going to come up and onto the top of the shoulder. And you start to just open up the energy up into the head now. And then let the hands come down to the side and then just swivel all the way around just like the arms flop around there's no control you're just turning from one side to the other letting the arms go so you're not winging them around you just want to be aware of that lower back you don't want to hurt yourself but just let yourself twist nice big breaths And then just come back to the center, close your eyes, take a big inhale, and a nice long sigh on the exhale. Let the shoulders relax down the back. Bring the hands to the heart space and start to rub the hands together and start to generate heat between the palms of the hands. So you really want to kind of rub them fast and really create that heat in the palms of the hands. I know you'll be going, oh, but Dave, my arms are hurting. Just keep going, you can do this. You can do this. So that heat that you're feeling in your hands is energy, you're creating energy, energy is life force. So we're really starting to move it around the body. You should feel it in your shoulders, in your arms. Maybe you're thinking, oh my God, how much longer are we gonna do this for? Not long. Just another 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, now close your eyes and then stop. Bring the palms of the hands over the eyes and cover the eyes. And then open the eyes and then just accept that gift of energy, that gift of prana in through the eyes. And then let the hands come down by the side. Close your eyes, big inhale. And a big ah on the exhale. So again, inhale fully, on the exhale like an audible ah, oh, just release anything, let the shoulders go down the back, one more time, inhale, you want to take the right hand out to the side, palm facing up, and then bring it up and reach for the ceiling, and then bend the elbow and bring the hand down between the shoulder blades, and then the left hand is going to come over, take a hold of that elbow, and then you want to try and bring that elbow as much as you can to behind your head. And then keep this hand sort of pointing down between the shoulder blades. Okay, so plant the feet into the floor. <clears throat> Move your right hip over towards the right hand side of the mat. And then fold all the way over to the left. And turn your head and see if you can look up towards the ceiling. Don't lean forward, try and lean nice and straight, just fold into the side, but as you do that, try and draw that elbow even further, create that stretch in the shoulders. Big breaths. And then inhale, relax the arms down, give them a little shake. Left hand out, palm up, reach up, bend the elbow, bring the hand, between the shoulder blades, right hand comes over, try and draw that elbow as much as you can towards the back of the head. So it might be pushing your head forward, you want to try and stand up nice and straight, make sure your chin is level with the floor. Inhale, and then exhale, move the left hip over to the left hand side of the mat, and then fold all the way over 
to the right and then turn the head and see if you can look up underneath that left arm. Well done, inhale up, open the arms, let them come down, give them a little shake out. Nice big inhale. So, this is fire hands like this. You're going to bring the hands together into fire hands. And then try and draw the palms of the hands together. And then try and push the inside of the elbows together. And then raise the arms up and see if you can bring your biceps alongside your ears. And then we're going to bend the elbows and bring the fingertips down as if they're trying to point between the shoulder blades. Try and keep your elbows tucked in and then tuck your tailbone under and move your hips forward and try and lift the head and look up. Big breaths. Straighten the arms and lift the head, look up to the thumb. Inhale up and exhale, forward bend, soften the knees and just let yourself fall forward. See if you can lift the tummy in, lift up a little, find a flat back, find a bit more space and exhale, just let yourself relax up. If your knees are bent, you kind of want to come up to where they're straight and just at that point where they want to bend, let yourself relax there because at that point, you you're still extending the hamstrings. Once we do this, we start to shorten the hamstrings. So we want to keep that length and then just let the top half completely relax. Inhale, come all the way up, reach up, salute the sun, and exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. So we're going to bring the hands around the back and join the hands together and then draw the shoulder blades together. So really squash the shoulder blades together. That lifts your chest bone a little. And as you draw the shoulder blades together, draw the fingertips down towards the back of your knees. Inhale. As you exhale, move the hips forward towards the front of the mat. And then inhale, lift the head. And as you exhale, draw the fingertips down towards the floor. But really squeeze them shoulder blades together, move the hips, lift the chest as if you're trying to touch the ceiling with your heart, and big breaths. Inhale, lift the head, exhale, fall forward, tummy in, and raise the arms up and over the head. Inhale, lift, and exhale, fall. Release the hands down to the floor, bend the knees, turn the palms to face the front of the room and inhale, come into your chair pose. So lift a little, tuck the tailbone under, sit down and then really reach from the middle of the back and look up between the hands. Big strong breaths here. Link the fingers together and bring the hands behind the head and then squeeze the shoulder blades together open the elbows as wide as you can tummy's in so you're still breathing into that open heart and on an inhale see if you can lift your head and look up to the ceiling keep the elbows open big breaths inhale straighten the legs exhale Fold forward nice and gently and then gently draw the forehead in towards the legs. Release the head, inhale, lift to a flat back. Ah, exhale, forward bend. Another good sigh. 
bend the knees, inhale, come all the way up, reach up, salute the sun, exhale the hands to the heart space, inhale, salute the sun, reach up, exhale, fall forward, tummy in, bend the knees, bring the hands down to the floor, and step back into a press up position. So if the hips are hanging down like this and they're too heavy, drop your knees down to the floor because you can do this whole next sequence from here. In fact, drop your knees to the floor and we'll start here. So this is where we're going to really try and control the breath here. I'll try and do it from both angles so you can kind of see. So what we're going to do is we're going to inhale, see how the arms don't bend. I'm going to inhale, come forward. As I exhale, I'm going to drop my hips down to the floor, but I want to squeeze my shoulder blades together so it moves my chest forward. On the next inhale, I'm going to lift my head and look up and create that lovely bend. And then exhale, I'm going to come all the way back to an extended child pose. Okay, so here we are on all fours. So spread your fingers out nice and wide and bring your shoulders over the top of your elbows, draw your shoulder blades back. So you're going to inhale forward, keep the arms straight and, let the, and then as you exhale, let the hips come down to the floor, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift the head, look up. So really opening up the front of the spine, closing the back. And then as you exhale, come over the back all the way over, extend, open the knees wider than your tummy and let your head Come down to the floor. Inhale up onto all fours. On your next inhale, move the hips forward, keeping the arms straight. See how I haven't bent the elbows. Elbows are tucked in. Let the hips sink down. Inhale, lift the head. You're kind of moving, almost trying to drag yourself forward to create a deeper back bend. And exhale over the toes, back. <coughs> Inhale up, and then on your next inhale, inhale forward, exhale, lower the hips, squeeze your shoulders, inhale, lift the head, look up, and exhale, come all the way over to the toes. So we'll turn that into a flow now. We're going to inhale forward, all the way forward, exhale, lower the hips, and inhale, lift the head, squeeze your shoulder blades together, push into the hands. Exhale over the toes all the way back. Inhale all the way forward. Arms are straight. Drop the hips. Inhale. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and look up. And exhale all the way back. So just two more. Inhale forward. Exhale lower the hips. Squeeze the shoulder blades and inhale. Lift the chest. Look up. Exhale back. Last one. Inhale forward, exhale lower the hips, inhale lift, and exhale over the toes. And this time make a pillow for your head and just let yourself relax. Take a few deep breaths into the belly. <clears throat> and then when you're ready, coming back up onto all fours. So Depending on where you're at today or where you feel your level is, you can do the first option that we've just done, or I'll show you the, the next one, which would start from downward facing dog. So in this one, we would inhale forward, keeping the arms straight, exhale, lower the hips, and inhale, I'm kind of moving forward and lifting the head and exhaling back and over the toes. So it would be inhale forward, exhale, inhale lift, and exhale down. So kind of the same as what we were doing, but without the knees on the floor, basically. <clears throat> so wherever you're comfortable at, you might want to do the first few from down dog, and then if it gets hard, drop the knees. That's absolutely fine. But let's start from downward facing dog. Fingers are spread out, 
Heels are moving down towards the floor, arms are straight, tailbone is tipped up to the sky. Or you want to be on all fours and ready. So wherever you are, we're going to inhale forward, exhale, lower the hips, the inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the head, look up. And exhale, come back over the toes to downward facing dog or child pose. Inhale forward. Exhale, lower the hips. Inhale, lift, look up. And exhale, over the toes or back to child pose or down dog. Inhale forward. Exhale, lower the hips. Inhale, lift, and exhale over the toes. So just four more to go. Inhale forward. If you need to rest, that's fine. Exhale, lower the hips. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale. Just come to the child pose, have a little rest, maybe join back in, or wait for the next sequence. Inhale forward. Exhale, lower the hips. Inhale, lift the head, look up. And exhale over the toes down dog so I think two more inhale exhale inhale and exhale so last one inhale exhale lower the hips inhale lift the head look up and exhale over the toes to down dog drop the knees Come to child pose, make a pillow for your head. Open your knees a bit wider than your torso, just so your tummy can relax between your legs. And nice deep breaths. On an inhale, come up to all fours. Turn your toes under and step the feet down into downward facing dog. So this is like a little challenge I always kind of like to do. We're going to take the hands and see if we can bring them back, a whole hand back and then come back into your downward facing dog. It really starts to stretch the hamstring so <clears throat> you'll find your limit but if you, you can go again we're going to bring the hands back, another hand's worth, and then come into downward facing dog from there. So it's a pretty spiky dog now. If you're still going, let's see if we can bring them back one more and keep the hands on the floor, relax. Well, let's go for one more, so they should be in front of the feet. If you really want to try, you can bring the hands back and see if you can bring the fingertips alongside the toes and then see if you can bring the hands to the floor. Bend the knees, inhale, come all the way up, reach up, salute the sun, exhale the hands to the heart space, walk to the front of the mat, release the arms, close the eyes, take a big inhale, fill yourself all the way up. As you exhale, bring that focus into the body. Feel the heat in the arms now growing. The heartbeat, the breath now, how much bigger the breath is. Step in the feet, so the hip distance apart. And you want to soften the knees a little bit, so not bent like this, just so there's a little bit of bounce in them. And this gives us somewhere to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to inhale, raise the arms up. So you don't want to just lift your arms. Once your arm is lifted, we have all of this left of the arm that you can use to reach up. So we want to activate all of this, rather than just the arms coming up from there. Then there's that extra push, so you're kind of using all your lateral muscles and your intercostals, and we want to generate a lot of warmth in this area. 
Okay, so we're going to inhale up, and then as you exhale, you're just going to, with your knees bent, just tip your tailbone under, sort of like into the lower back, so you've got a, a cheerleader back. And then as you do that, you're going to bring the elbows sort of back past the centre with the hands up and lift the head. So you want to try and bring your hands so they're kind of level with your chest. I mean, obviously how tight you are around the shoulders will determine that, but that's where you're looking for. Okay, so you can see how as I come down, there's this tip, this back bend that happens that lifts the chest. That creates this nice arch for me to look up this will really open up the chest okay so here we go knees are just soft hands up the heart space inhale reach up and then reach and on the exhale draw the elbows down and back lift the chest see if you can get your hands alongside the chest and then inhale back up straighten the legs exhale sink in draw the hands back really squeeze the shoulder blades together inhale up exhale draw the elbows in lift the chest keep the head lifted inhale and then exhale draw the elbows in try and bring the palms level with the chest last one inhale up Exhale, draw the elbows in. And relax the hands down by the side. Inhale, fill yourself all the way up. Exhale, sigh it out, relax your shoulders. You might feel a lot of heat and energy around this top half of the body now. Because we're activating the spine, opening the shoulders, these twists. The hamstrings are now opening up. So, inhale, salute the sun, reach up, and then reach again. Exhale, swallow dive forward, tummy in, straight legs. Take the weight into the right foot, and then inhale, raise your left leg up off the floor. So, you might need, you know, your yoga block here to lift that left leg. We'll try and square that left hip down to the floor, lift up through the heels. And then bend the front knee, step back and drop the back knee down to the floor. So turn the toes flat and inhale, come up. So you want to try and keep this knee wants to be slightly behind the ankle. My hips want to be in line. With the front of the mat and I want to feel a nice opening up in this in the front of this left hip here okay so we're gonna inhale as we do that we're gonna again squeeze the shoulder blades together draw the fingertips down towards the floor as we inhale that'll lift the chest and then exhale relax the hips down and as you do that you're kind of creating this wave this upward movement up through the chest we'll keep reaching down for the floor inhale Exhale, relax, reach down. If you need to walk that front foot forward a little, you can. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, reach down, move the hips forward, look up. Last one, inhale, lift a little. Exhale, reach. Create that big curve from the knee all the way up around the front of the body through the neck. And then inhale, come back up to straight. Open the palms. So I shall turn this way. So the legs stay exactly the same. You want that alignment into the hips and then and the movement is the same. It's like the hips are moving forward, but it allows the body to lift up and over. Okay, so. Palms are open, inhale, exhale, relax the hips forward, and then inhale, raise the hands and look up between the hands. So as you inhale, there's a reach through the fingers, and as you exhale, a relax through the hips. So I'll show you that from the side. So 
So as I inhale, I'm going to lift through my fingers and as I exhale, it allows that space. But don't let the hips swivel. Big breaths. And then exhale, bring the hands forward down to the mat and walk the hands back until you can straighten that front leg. So generally, people's hamstrings are pretty tight. So if you need a block or even a cushion, anything really, just if, what you want is the leg straight. Everything after the leg straight is just a bonus. But if you can get the legs straight, that's fine. And if that means you're more upright, that's where you need to be. Okay. And again, if you need your block, you can use your block. But once you're here, you're thinking that alignment of the hips forward. See if I can bring the hands down towards the floor. Inhale, lift the chest. And then as you exhale, you're thinking your head is moving to the front edge of your mat, not sort of down here. So inhale, lift. And as you exhale, let yourself fold over that straight leg. Again, if folding over means the leg bends, come back to where it's straight. You can walk your hands forward. If you want, you can, with your right hand, draw the toes back. And that will open up the Achilles and the calf down from the back of the knee a little bit more. So we're going to inhale, come forward, bend the front knee, come back up, bring the hands to the heart space. So take a nice big inhale on the exhale, we're going to turn all the way around to the right and then just Tip the shoulders and the elbows, bring that left elbow down onto the knee. Draw the shoulders down the back and try and draw the thumbs in towards the chest and look up over that right shoulder. You can relax your hips forward, but deep breaths, it's hard to breathe in the, sweat, in the twist. So we'll go on, inhale to the centre. Exhale, bring the hands down to the floor. So turn the back toes under, lift the knee, shift the weight back, and inhale, step the feet together, lift to a flat back, and exhale, fold over that front legs again. When you're ready, bringing the hands to the floor, shifting the weight into that left leg, and inhale, raising, oh, have I done right there? It's very good, I know, I can't remember. So stepping the other leg back, dropping the back knee down to the floor. And then inhale, come up. So again, walk that front foot forward a little. And then roll the palms open, reach down from the floor, inhale. And then exhale, relax the hips forward. And again, as you relax forward, let the chest lift, the head lift, draw the hands down towards the floor. Inhale, lift, exhale, relax, draw the fingertips down, lift the chest. Inhale, lift, and exhale, relax. Hold on, inhale, come up, roll the palms open. Again, big inhale. Exhale, relax the hips forward and inhale, bring the hands up and reach up. So as you inhale, reach. As you exhale, relax. Let yourself grow into the pose. You can have fire hands. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Walk the hands back until you can straighten the left leg. Lift the chest. And then exhale. See if you can fold over that front leg. Maybe walk the hands forward. If 
Again, with the left hand, you can draw the toes back. Or go on, inhale forward. Come up, bring the hands to the heart space. So think that nice flat line across the elbows, push into the palms, shoulders are down, inhale. As you exhale, tummy in, turn all the way around to the left, bring the right elbow down onto the knee, push into the palms and look up over the left shoulder. You can relax the hips forward, nice big breaths. Oh, feels too good. Inhale up, exhale forward, bring the hands to the floor. Turn the back toes under, lift the knee, shift the weight back. Step the feet the width of your mat apart. Inhale, lift up to a flat back. And then open the knees and come down into a squat. So again, if you need to pop your cushion underneath your legs or your block, inhale the hands forward. And exhale, draw the elbows in, thumbs to the heart space, close the eyes and take big deep breaths here. Open the eyes, open the arms. Lie all the way back, straighten the legs, give the feet a waggle from side to side. You can do little chops onto the thighs. And then bend the knees, draw the knees into the chest. And then roll back towards the shoulders and inhale, come all the way up into your squat again. So this time we're going to be on the toes. So this is it everybody, we're going to do our crow pose. So anybody who's never done this pose before, you've probably seen it a load of times on Instagram, but it's a lot easier than it actually looks. So just have faith in yourself, you can do this. So if you've never done it before, we're going to start there. So if you've never done it before, you see this little dimple here in your leg between your, your knee and your, your calf muscle. The only reason God gave you that is so you can do crow pose. It's of no other use to you whatsoever. So what we want to do is this piece of the elbow here, above, above the elbow towards the shoulder here, we want to tuck in into that knee and then do the same on the other side and then open your hands, maybe about the width of your mat apart, maybe a little bit more, but fingers are really spread out because these will help you. And then... You're going to keep the chin lifted, lift the bum and move forward until you can lift one foot up and then you'll be able to fit the other. So I'll show you that from the side. So I'm going to tuck my elbows in, see my knees are quite high and they're open so I can let my one pack go between. So I'm going to tuck the elbows in, let them come out about the width of the mat apart, fingers are wide, shoulders are back. So I'm pushing into my hands. But notice as I lift my head, I'm going to lift my bum and then I move forward like that. I don't move down like this. So think, move forward and then you'll feel the weight of your knees go into your elbows and then see if you can lift one foot up and then see if you can lift the other foot up. Chuck a cushion in front of your head if you would. You need to get one off the settee but have another go. So remember as you're going forward, you want to inhale as you go forward, keep pushed into the hands and try and move as much as you can in a, in a line, in a flat line rather than dipping down. <coughs> and if you find that you're kind of here and you're nearly there, just let yourself come forward about another inch and your feet come off the floor by themselves. Okay. Well done. <laughs> You've got to do it, haven't you? Okay, so for those people who are going to have another go at that, but for those people who have a practice and, and uh, 
that whole procedure basically just sort of tightens up. So I'll show you what I mean. The hands uh, are not so wide. They're going to come in so they're basically underneath my shoulders like that. And, um, and my elbows don't go to the inside. I want to bring the knee as close as I can into my armpit, tuck them in. And as I bring the hands down, I'm going to lift up, come forward, and then tuck the toes in and try and straighten the arms. Nice big breaths. And then down. Well done. Come to a child pose, open the knees. Let yourself sink down. <coughs> well done, inhale, come up onto all fours. So you want to spread the fingers out on the left hand and then really push down into that left hand. And then you're going to raise your left leg up into the air. So again, try not to let the hip roll open like this. Think, lift up through the heel and then reach forward with the right hand. Big breaths. Keep pushing into this hand on the floor. See if you can lift the leg and the hand a bit more. And then come to all fours, open the knees, little jaw pose, big breaths, and then inhale, come up, spread the fingers on the right hand, shift the weight over into the right hand, uh, raise the right leg, and then raise the left arm, big breaths. See if you can lift a little higher. And then come down into a child pose. When you're ready, come on back up onto the hand. So spreading the hand, uh, the left hand out. Raise the left leg, raise the right hand, and this time we're just going to lift and drop. Just another 40. <laughs> so two more. One, two, child pose. Child pose. Take big breaths. And when you're ready, coming up, spreading the fingers out on the right hand, raising the right leg and the left arm. And when you're ready, just lift and drop. Last one, up, and then child pose. Big breaths. So you might be feeling really warm now. You might have a little sweat on. This is good. This is the energy moving around the body. So big breaths. After every exhale, just oh, it's a chance just to completely surrender. And then when you're ready, coming up onto all fours. We're going to raise the right hand out to the side and on an exhale I want to thread it between the left arm and left leg. Reach as far as I can, lay the shoulder down, then lay my head down and with this left hand I want to push into the floor until I can get this left shoulder pointing up towards the ceiling. I'm going to continue practice, this left hand can come all the way around the back and bind a hold of your right thigh. So don't let this left shoulder collapse on your ear. Keep it pulled up and away, rolling that chest open, big breaths.
Well done, release. Let the head come onto all fours. As you exhale, turn the tailbone under, push into the hands, draw the belly in to your cat pose. As you inhale, let the belly relax, sink into the lower back, draw the shoulders back, stick your tail in the air, inhale, look up. Exhale, belly in. Inhale to a flat back, raise the left arm, thread the left arm all the way through, lay the head down, lay the shoulder down, and then again push into that right hand <clears throat> so you can roll that shoulder open. And if bringing that right hand around the back, reaching for the left thighs in your practice, again, don't let that shoulder collapse. Release the bind, inhale, come up. As you exhale, belly in, cat cow. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. <clears throat> so walk your hands forward a little bit and your toes back a little bit. And then push your hips all the way back towards the back edge of the mat. And then bring them all the way over to the right, that corner, back right corner of the mat. Come all the way up to the front edge and across. And then all the way down to the left, to the left corner. We're making these long circles. You want to feel the arm stretch. Inhaling as you're coming forward. And exhaling as you're going back. But this is about loosening off all of that work that you've done earlier. All of them twists and shoulder openers and then we're going to go in the other direction. So across to the left, up the left hand side of the mat, across to the right and back. Kind of, this wants to feel nice really rather than effort. You're kind of rewarding yourself at this point for the work that you've done. So we'll do one more lap. And then come all the way back and into a child pose, make a pillow for your head. <clears throat> Inhale, come up to kneeling, sit down onto the left hip, swing the feet forward and see if you can bring the feet together into butterfly and then see if you can walk your sit bones as close to your heels as you can. And let the knees fall out to the side. Close your eyes. So don't hunch in the back. Sit up straight. Draw the shoulders down the back. Tummies in. But the knees are open out to the side. So see if you can take a hold of the big toes with the first two fingers and then see if you can bring your right elbow onto your right knee and your left elbow onto your left knee. So don't slump in the back, that'll just pull you backwards. Think chest is forward, shoulders are back. And then see if you can straighten the legs. And then see if you can open them as wide as you can. We'll have a little core test, see if you can release the toes. And then come back to your boat pose. And we're going to inhale open, exhale close. Inhale, open, fly all the way down, take a big inhale and a nice big sigh on the exhale, and then bend the knees, draw the heels into the sit bones, hands are flat on the floor, inhale, turn the tailbone under, lift the hips high, move your hips all the way over to the left, and then down to the mat, across to the right, and up and around, so big rotations in the hips.
and then in the opposite direction, and then lower the hips, hug the knees into the chest, bring your left hand to your right knee, right hand out to the side, and on an exhale lower the knees to the left, and turn the head and look to the outstretched right hand. Inhale to the centre, hug the knees in, have a little rock. And when you're ready, right hand to the left knee, left hand out to the side. As you exhale, lower the knees to the left, turn the head and look to the outstretch. Left hand. Inhale to the centre. Hug the knees in and then open the knees wider than your chest, reach between your legs, take a hold of your feet and then as you, you're pulling down on your feet like you're trying to get your knees to touch the floor either side of your body, you might feel this right in that lower back, but then you're going to roll over till your right knee touches the floor and roll over till your left knee touches the floor. So really this is again just a little reward in happy baby. You get to roll them back muscles out because of all the work that they've done with the, with the heart openers, bringing the energy in through the heart space. And then when you're ready, just lying down, closing the eyes, ready for your Shavasana. So get comfortable. If you need a blanket or something like that, just... Now is the time to pop that on. We're closing the eyes, allowing yourself to sink into the floor. Give the shoulders a little move, give the hips a little move, just find that place where you're nice and planted, relaxed and then Take a nice big inhale, fill yourself all the way up, and as you exhale, completely surrender to the floor. The floor won't let you go anywhere, it'll keep you completely protected, completely safe, supported. And just allow yourself to be there. If you find that you're getting distracted in your mind, come back to the breath. But we'll have a little mantra here in, in our Shavasana. Satoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Richoma Amritam Gamaya Om Satoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Richoma Amritam Gamaya Om Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Richoma Amritam Gamaya Om Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Richoma Amritam Gamaya Om Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Richoma Amritam Gamaya Om Asatoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Richoma Amritam Gamaya Om 
Tomasatoma Satyamaya Tamasoma Jyotiya Gamaya Richoma Amritam Yamaya Om Asatoma Satyamaya Tamasoma Jyotiya Gamaya Richoma Amritam Yamaya Om Asatoma Satyamaya Tamasoma Jyoti Gamaya Prichoma Amritam Gamaya Slowly starting to bring yourself back, starting to become aware of your breath, gently moving fingers and toes, reconnecting the mind, the body, the spirit. On your next inhalation, raise your arms and up and over your head, and on the exhalation, have a real early morning stretch. Stretch through your fingers, stretch through your toes, bring yourself right the way back, hug the knees into the chest, gently roll onto the right hand side. And when you're ready, come into a comfortable seated position at the front of your mat. You need to sit on your block or your cushion, that's absolutely fine. Let the shoulders relax down the back and let the tummy relax. The eyes are closed. Just settle into your own silence. Take your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your tummy. And just take a few moments for your gratitude practice today. What are you truly grateful for in this moment? Maybe it was something that happened today. Maybe it's just something that you have in your life all the time. But recognize that gratitude and feel it in your heart space. Take a nice big inhale, fill yourself all the way up and a nice long sigh on the exhale. Again, inhale. And one last time, let's shift any last negative energy. Inhale. Bring the hands to a prayer at the third eye and then lower them to the heart space. Tip the chin forward. Look after the universe that you live in and the planet that you live on. Take care of all your family and friends. By all your family and friends, I mean all living creatures that live, walk and breathe upon this earth. Inhale the hands to the third eye. Namaste. Namaste, everybody. Thank you very much. Well done. I know that you've probably been like completely distracted by this really cool t-shirt that I'm wearing tonight. But this is my mate Dan, my mate Dan Neen. So these are available, if you want one of these, these are available at danneen.com, which is a charity. And they're, they're an amazing charity. They, don't, they kind of do all sorts, but they do it nicely under the radar. They don't brag about it like the hyperbaric chamber. They really contribute to that. But also what they really put a lot of their effort into is developing the youth of the island, which is just awesome. So if you want an awesome Dan Neen cool t-shirt and it's even got like Dave Smith Yoga on the back so it's even like a Dan Neen Dave Smith Yoga top but like if you like it danneen.com they've got tons of cool stuff the bobble hats and the little neck things are awesome 
Well, thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you for joining me and listening to my madness. And then um, we'll be back on Friday. And I think <gasps> lockdown might be over on Monday. So if anybody would like me to sort of carry on doing a live class a week, kind of either drop me a message on Instagram or um, on my Facebook or something like that. Just drop me a message and say, if because if you want to carry on doing a live class a week, even if we're not in lockdown, I'm perfectly happy to do it. I've been really enjoying it. So thank you very much. Namaste.